the many things you can do with data in iRISE, you can use an expression widget to perform math or list operations. In this video, we'll show you how easy it is to incorporate these types of operations into your simulations. On the product list page shown here, we are currently populating a tile list with product information from a data sheet. We've also set up three filters that narrow down the results based on user input from the reviewer. We'll use the expression widgets for two operations on this page. We'll display the number of matches found and displayed in the tile list, and we'll provide a feature for converting the weight of each product from ounces to grams. We'll start by adding our first expression widget under the Get Products widget. Since we're going to count the number of records flowing into the tile list, we'll select Count from the List Operation field in the Properties panel. An expression widget needs a data input to do its thing. For this operation, we can use any field in the product's data sheet. We'll drag the record widget onto the expression widget, choose Send Data, and select the Price field. Double-clicking the expression widget opens the expression builder. Since we've already designated the count list operation, all we need to do here is add the price field to the calculation. We'll also change the precision to zero, which just means that the output won't have decimal places. To display the expression's output, we'll add a text widget and a text input widget above the tile list. We'll name the text input and make it two characters wide. Now we can create data flow from the expression widget to the text input. We'll call the resulting field matches. Let's test this operation in our browser. It looks like our expression is working perfectly. Our second operation will be slightly more complex, if only because we'll need alternate views so we can display the weight in both ounces and grams. Our goal is to give our reviewer the ability to click a link that converts ounces to grams for each record. Let's start by creating the user interface. First, we'll add a text widget to the right side of the weight placeholder with the text convert to grams. We'll wrap this and the placeholder in a section and then create a duplicate view. In the new view, we can delete convert to grams. In the views panel, we'll name the display in each of the views and make sure the ounces view is the default view. We'll need to switch views action to change to the grams view. The convert to grams text will be our source widget. Now we can build the expression that will convert the weight from ounces to grams. We'll add one last expression widget to the canvas and send the weight field from the get products widget. In building the expression, we need to multiply the weight by the conversion factor for ounces to grams, which is 28.3495. We'll change the precision to one, and then we can test the calculation here in the expression builder. We'll enter one for weight, click test, and the conversion works. In sending the expression's output to the tile, we need to make sure the correct view is displayed, since we want the converted value to be displayed in the grams view. We can use weight as the field label for the output. Let's test our interaction in the browser. When we have some results visible on the page, clicking any of the convert to grams links switches the views and displays the correct value. Although it's unlikely that calculations you perform in iRISE would get more complicated than the ones built here, we've hopefully given you an idea of what's possible. Thanks for watching.